Hi everyone, okay I'm sat in the car park about to go and pick up my kids and they were really annoying this morning um, so I thought I would do a video about the most annoying things that children do because I love my kids but kids are annoying and they do things that are just nonsensical they do things that don't make sense why? So these are my top biggest annoyances. One, they don't flush the chain. Now, I'm going to give mine the benefit of the doubt in the house I'm in now because the, chain, the, the, the toilet flush is a little bit temperamental. But this isn't a new thing. They don't flush the chain. So I'm constantly going, why has nobody flushed the chain? Why didn't you tell me that you can flush? The, why, why, why? That's annoying. Um, number two. Number two is mom mom why do they have to say my name in that way um why it's just constant mom 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 and again i'm sure there'll be a point in my life when i'm like why can't i hear that sound i miss my children i'm i'm struggling to see that i will hit i will miss that elongated whiny mom like mom i always correct my girls as well i'm like can you just say mom like all upbeat like just say hi mom i'd love a drink if you get a chance could you make me one not mom because when i hear that mom i just think oh i want to pretend i'm in the toilet i'm going to pretend i'm just going to lock the door i'm going to hide in here for a bit um so that's the number two number three telling on each other constantly telling on each other and then i have to tell them off for telling on each other it's such a waste. For, I'm like, the one that comes in and tells on the other, I'm like, well, you're in trouble now for telling tales. You're, that's your pal. Why are you telling tales on each other? And at the minute, my two are like, <coughs> just log heads with each other, telling tales all the time. Just constantly trying to get the other one in trouble. That's annoying. Number, what are we up to? Number four. Why do they like, when they're eating, have one bite of something and then not want it? I really, really dislike wasted food. So when a kid takes a bite out of an apple and then leaves it on the side, a part of me kind of really dislikes them. As a person, I judge them. And I just think, just know, why, why, why are you doing that to me? And then obviously they leave the apple like all sticky on the side. That's number five. Kids are sticky. And they've got messy hands and pen on them. Why are they so messy? I, I, granted, I am not the tidiest person, but they're sticky. Their hands are sticky and they don't mind at all. It's totally fine. It's totally fine with them. Um, and the fake, I do find this quite funny, number six, the, um, the fake not hearing thing. <laughs> I think some adults have this as well. Uh, but the fake not... Like, when you say, girls, could you... Oh, Brooke, Texas, could you um, sort, put your dishes away, please? Or whatever it is. And they're like, hmm? <laughs> hmm? <laughs> I have not heard you. Hmm? Hmm? Just, like, sat there. What? You're like, you definitely heard what I said. So what I'll do is just mumble, who wants some chocolate? Who wants chocolate? Just, like, mumble it under my breath. And they're like... Whoosh, whoosh, in the same way that they are like in the car usually like down here i'll have just like a little stash of sweets for myself like i'm not giving it to the kids in the back they're my sweets so i'll stash them down there and as soon as they just hear have i got anything nothing at the minute but just like a little rustling little rustling sound they're like what's that mom i'm like stop giving me away maltesers uh yeah they can hear yeah they can't hear me shouting down the stairs put your dishes away but they can hear the rustling of a chocolate wrapper from like 10 paces why is that um the questions the bedtime questions are the best where they are they range from like can i have a drink like the obvious ones to once brooke asked me mom who makes everything I don't know where to begin. What I do when they do stuff like that is I just rake my hands down their face and go, mm, shh, shush, be quiet. 
that I don't have all the answers children um, so yeah these are just a selection of the annoying things before I go and meet my beautiful children who I adore um, just want to remind you if you are having children they're they're brilliant they are brilliant it is great being a parent and they're hilarious and funny and they're good little people but equally sometimes you will find yourself hiding in the downstairs toilet with a pack of Maltesers pretending you can't hear the children it's just what just a fact welcome to parenthood